Salam, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a quick video, uh, you know, reminding myself first and foremost, you know, as times get, you know, progressively worse, you know, as this devil, you know, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, you know, pursues to crown his enterprise <laughs> and continues to, you know, increase the draconian measures, you know, as things, you know, begin to get worse upon the planet Earth, you know, to continue to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Because ultimately, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that are bringing these things to pass. You know, those of us that, you know, believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're able to look into the future, man. Why? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai spoke of these things in the Holy Scriptures. And those of us that have been given the unction, we understand all things. We understand these things are going to come to pass because ultimately we know that the Lord's word is faithful and true. You see? So with that, the first scripture I want to get into is the book of First Peter. The second chapter. In the sixth verse, and it reads, Wherefore, also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion, which Zion in the Hebrew is to Zion, which goes into monument or memorial, a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believe on him, shall not be confounded who's that him who's that cornerstone that chief cornerstone that elect that precious that will be none other than Yahweh Shai man our, our savior our redeemer you see those of us that believe in Yahweh Shai we're not going to be confounded in the days to come as times become perilous you see let's get this word confounded real quick Confounded. Confounded. A quick uh, definition out of the Merriam Webster. And it reads confused or perplexed, man. You see, those of us that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're not going to be confused or perplexed in the times to come. Why? Because the scriptures speak of the time of great death and great mourning. It speaks of the time of famine, World War III. You see, the scriptures tell us that this man's gonna, this man Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is gonna come down with great wrath, knowing that he has but a short time. You see, scripture tells us he's gonna come in like a madman, sparing none. Scriptures tell us he's gonna persecute the men, women, and fa the families of the Lord, man. Those of us that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, but regardless of this man coming in, you know, persecuting us and, you know, taking away our jobs, you know, coming for our families and ultimately coming for our life, we are to wait on the Lord, man. Like we were command, like we're commanded to do. You know what? Let's get that real quick. Because at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to situate this devil, man. Uh, let's go to the book of Zephaniah, the third chapter. In the eighth verse, and it reads Therefore, wait ye upon me, 
saith the Lord. See, we are to wait upon Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations. You see, and, and that gathering is going to be where? In the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. Where the nations are going to be gathered via World War Three, <laughs> And Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is going to take them out. Continuing on, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. See, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. You see that? So that's how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is coming, man. That's how our power is coming. And he even gets more vivid with it if we go to um uh Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah real quick. The 66th chapter. And I'm gonna start at the 15th verse, and it reads: For behold, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. You see that? He's going to come suddenly. It come like a whirlwind. You're, you're coming suddenly. You see that? To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. This is how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is coming. You see? <laughs> we have to believe in these words. Continuing on. Verse 16. For by fire... And by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the sword in its perfection are those intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. You see? And this word plead is going into judgment, man. The Lord's going to judge all flesh, man. Abba Rathaza, we are on the right side of judgment. Those of us that call upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, those of us that call upon him in truth. Abba Rathaza, we are on the right side of judgment. Continuing on, in the slain of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, shall be many. You see? So, so this is what's going on. This is how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is coming. You know, so, you know, if we believe in these words, we really need to, you know, we shouldn't even be upset or, you know, feel some type of way, you know, as things get, you know, more difficult. You know, as times become more, um, you know, harder to navigate through and, you know, as we begin to come into straits, you know, because again, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai told us these things were going to happen. You know, this place has to become unsown. You know, through much tribulation, should we enter into the kingdom of heaven, we have to re we have to constantly remind ourselves that speaking on behalf of myself first and foremost. You know. And so you know, we are not the fret. You know, let's go to um, let's go to Psalms. Let's go to the book of Psalms, the thirty seventh chapter, and I'm gonna start from the top. And it reads, fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. And who are the workers of iniquity? <laughs> well, it starts with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. That's who the worker of iniquity is. And his, and his works, you know, do his works. Give credence to that, man. You know, but we are not to envy this man. What scripture say? Uh, uh, envy not the oppressor. Let's get that real quick. We'll come right back. Um, let's get that real quick. The book of Proverbs, the third chapter. And 
in the 31st verse and it reads, Envy thou not the oppressor. Who's the oppressor? Who's the offender? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Again, his works testify against this man. You see? And choose none of his ways. Why? Because all of this man's ways lead to death. Point blank period. All of his ways lead to death. We are not to choose any of this man's ways. Back in the book of Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 1 from the top. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Why? Verse 2. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. How is that going to be accomplished? <laughs> by that thermonuclear blast, man. And by the chariots of the Lord. <laughs> They're going to be zapping everything in sight. We read in Isaiah, he's coming like a whirlwind, man. He's coming with fire. You see? <laughs> it's going down. We are not to envy this devil, man. You know, we have to trust in trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, this man's days are numbered, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is coming to take this man out. You know? And we have to just continue to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, no matter how perilous the times may seem, man. You know? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. You know, we have to believe in that. We have to believe that. Let's get one more. I'm going to get one more and then close out the book of Sirach, if the Spirit allows. The book of Sirach, chapter 2. In verse 10, the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach. Chapter 2 and verse 10, and it reads, Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And the answer to all three of those questions is none, none, and none, man. You know? <laughs> so we are to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with all our heart and with all our soul, man. Because no matter which way the cookie crumbles, you know, whether we're preserved until the end and we ascend into the clouds. You know, or we, if we have to be mortars for this truth, man. <laughs> you see, and, and be raised up first. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Granted, we're part of that precious out. We have been given a heads up. <laughs> through the scriptures. By Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. There were no, um, you know, there, were, there was no, uh, you know, things withheld. You know, from those of us that from those of us that believe in this word, man, wholeheartedly. We know the possible outcomes of this thing. We we count it the costs, as they say. You know? <laughs> but we are to continue to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and trust in him. You know? And Lord willing, he'll give us the strength to endure until the end, man. But now that's pretty much the point. Akiyam and Akwath, I just want to put that out there real quick through the spirit. You know, Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath were edified. Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Kal Halaliam La, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai. Bahashem Rakakwadash. 
Shalom, Akiyam.